Put it in the park at the ledge, not engage when, uh, you know, when they don't have to. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how WebJP plays around that because, you know, we've been... Uh, Zero Suit Samus is definitely one of those characters where uh, Weefa Trainer probably has to be a little bit more mindful at the ledge because she has uh, such explosive options, uh, you know, to kill you, uh, you know, vertically, especially with things like with like flip jump and uh, down smash, uh, you know, comboing into things like flip jump. So it's gonna be interesting to see how John uh, plays around that interesting wrinkle in this matchup. Yeah, and that's gonna be another key thing because again, like we said earlier, you know, um, this character likes to play at the ledge. Obviously, Zero Suit Samus is. She's really good at the ledge, but more importantly, when she's right at the ledge, it's not just like another character where now you reset the scenario, you have to recover, whatever. She literally kills you. Like, if you get hit by a down smash, you're going to get boost kicked, and you might be dead. And if she hits you with the neutral B, the paralyzer, you're probably going to get boost kicked, and you're going to die. Yep. And then she has the side B, which is really, really strong, and that will kill you. Like, And it covers a couple uh, ledge options. So Webb definitely has all the tools he needs to uh, be this tall. And beat John numbers. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely feasible. And if you're John, you definitely have to be a little bit mindful when you hit Zero Suit Samus' shield. You know, uh, definitely not a scenario you uh, want to be in. And a great parry on the tether, like you mentioned. Nazaire is going to be huge uh, in this matchup for uh, WebJP, especially at kill percent for things like... And there it is. Yeah, like we mentioned, the, the whip. Neutral get up into that side B. That side B is insanely strong. And so now Web is in a really, really great position. But again, that deep breathing, it, it's like the scariest thing. It really is like Arsene on command. Like I've literally seen Wii Fits zero to death people in like three <laughs> hits, you know? So that, that just the threat of that is, I feel like you're never super comfortable, even if you're up a stock. Yeah, it's our sin if our sin was a cardio exercise. Yeah. Uh, wow, great uh, awareness there from John doing the down smash. It covered every possible place that Web could drift. Because if he tried to drift off stage or grab ledge, it would have hit, and it obviously killed him from the back, sending him across the entire stage. Still got the stock. Yeah, very nice stuff there. But Web JP still with a you know bit of a lead here, and like you mentioned, zero two Sam is at the ledge. Uh, you know, definitely uh, one of the best in the game in regards to keeping you at bay uh, when you're at, you know, ledges advantage. Yeah, and I want to I want to also just say Webb is, is playing very fearlessly right now, which is what you need to do because a lot of people, you know, it can be very overwhelming and stressful to deal with John's zoning game with the sun and the soccer ball, but we haven't really seen much of that. Like, he's, Ooh. look at that, like, he's been in there the whole time and he's, he's just fighting John and John has to, like, fight back. He's not giving him the space to set everything up. I mean, Webb is looking really good right now. This is, I, I feel like, you know, this game is decided oh. right there. I told you, if you guess, if she gets it right at the ledge, you die. Yeah. It's not just a normal character. John was at, he was literally at like what, like 40% there? Yeah, he was definitely at uh, low percent here. He's at 38%. Oh, boy. Yeah, and like you mentioned before, you know, the down smash being uh, huge here. Look, Webb just ducking there, waiting for you. He's like, I'm going to nair this man's neutral getup. And you have, by the way, I just want people to understand, when someone does a neutral getup, you have one frame before they can shield. Yes. You have one to two frames max where you can hit them. So the fact that he hit that nair is actually kind of insane. That was a really great nair flip kick from uh, Web. Yeah, like we mentioned, you know, we Fit Trainer can definitely have her way with certain characters when she's able to, you know, hang at the ledge and, you know, throw the soccer ball and the sun salutations. Uh, but Zero Suit Sam is definitely one of those wrinkles in, uh, in the, you know, we Fit Trainer's arsenal. Uh, as you have to be a little bit more mindful with uh, when you're getting off the ledge against this character. But John Number is wasting no time uh, to assert dominance on the start of the second game, Glenn. Wow, man. Web's movement is really, really nice. I mean, this is really interesting to watch. I mean, but John right now, obviously up 150, he's almost he almost zero to death him. I mean, this is a. Uh, I, I even though I think the first game, I think John really got bodied that game. John is also someone who makes really smart adjustments, and I mean we're seeing the results of that right now. I mean he's up 165. If he can take the stock right now, he's going to be in an insanely good spot. You see Webb trying to search, but and despite the lead, Glenn, like you mentioned, zero two Sam is not a character that's going to require. Much to kill you, especially with this one's rage on the table. So if you're John Numbers, you're definitely trying to finish your plate as soon as humanly and possible. That's a stock. Oh lord, he died at 77. I mean, we fit deserves it. I mean, the, the deep breathing. <laughs> basically, you giving ZSS rage is basically her version of deep breathing. Like yeah. that's what that was. You can't deep breathe in space, unfortunately. But uh, <laughs> just like that, John Numbers with the sun salutations. Gonna even things up, and you know, good on John. You know, there's Zero Two Sam is definitely one of those characters that can tilt you uh, very, very heavily, especially given the way that uh, John just lost the stock there. Wow, As, beautiful uh, ledge dropping there from Webb. He was yeah. like, "I'll take this F tilt." Okay, here's another one. 
How about another, another one? one? Here's the third. <laughs> and one for the road. There you go once again, staying at ledge position. Ooh, that could be it, but not getting the uh, spike hitbox of the flip jump there. But John Number still being kept at bay here. Yeah, I mean, at flip kick, obviously, notoriously one of the best moves of all time. I mean, that move is unbelievably good as a recovery tool, at a disadvantage. Uh, you know, clearly, uh, it's a good combo move. It kills. I mean, that the fact that John has to worry about that the whole time because he does like to play at the ledge and he's going to be off stage a lot. I mean, that's scary. That flip kick is just like, it'll haunt your dreams, man. Like, it just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> There you go. A B will connect right there. So it's going to be again good damage here for WebJP as John Numbers trying to get uh, you know back in you know some semblance of control here. But you know, yeah, I, I want to say that you know that's a good point. I mean, I want to say that I don't feel like Numbers has been able to play his game, and it doesn't feel like he's in control the way that he normally is against most people that he plays. There you go. The B reverse uh, plasma whip right there once again. Uh, super, super strong uh, killing option for Zero Suit Sam that's going to take that stock for MJP as they are one stock away from advancing on to the winner semis over John Numbers. Man, Webb just looking so comfortable, man. I mean, this man is definitely tall enough to <laughs> to be John Numbers, man. He walked in six foot five right now. He's ready. Yeah, looking very solid. John has not been able to uh, you know, find a good way to adjust here, especially with these tech rolls. Uh, Webb has done a really good job you know, reacting to when John is going to roll away or stay put. Yeah, and I mean, one of the interesting things is that, you know, Webb has been in the lead the entire time, but he hasn't been playing as, he's still playing the game, and oh, this might be it, missing that bear right there, and John getting the stock with that sun salutation. Salute that sun. Yeah. Definitely. Say hi to that sun. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't stare at it for too long. <laughs> uh, yeah, listen, John Numbers definitely you know, keeping it within arm's reach here, but WebJP once again getting off uh, to the races early here on this last stock. I mean, a good get up attack from John Numbers to avoid the down smash. Oh, and this could be, this could be, this could be it. Okay, missing that boost kick platform, saving him, but John with deep breathing, and you're at 87%. I mean, Web needs to take this stock now because John is actually bringing this back. Oh, again, with deep breathing, that would have killed. Ooh, okay, almost getting the kill right there. As, and, and yeah, there it is. Deep breathing will get the job done. So despite a pretty sizable lead for WebJP, you know, John Numbers uh, not saying quit. And again, you kind of run into these scenarios sometimes where like you, you might be panicking a bit. And especially against a character like Weefit Trainer, like we mentioned, definitely has the, the tools and the wear it all to be able to mount these comebacks right, very nicely. Right. I mean, yeah, John just caught him uh, misspacing there. I mean, I feel like Webb wanted to maybe drift in with that uh, side B there, and it just... He just ended up doing it in place, completely out of space. Yep. And uh, getting sent to the sun for that one. And we're going into game three here. So let's actually, like, like I'm really curious to see how this happens. If this takes the same momentum as the last two games where Webb comes out really strong early on. And, but John figured out a way to bring that one back. I wonder if, if Webb feels like he just overextended or if he lost patience or if John actually just made a lot of adjustments. Yeah, it could be a scenario where, like, you know, you it's hard to play John's game against him because and I feel like in a, in a patience contest, John, nine times out of ten, is going to be the one that comes out on top. But uh, WebJP doing a good job, you know, ex you know, extending just enough to force, you know, John numbers to, you know, kind of rethink their path to the ledge. Uh, you've seen a couple of times where, uh, you know, WebJP's gone for these early boost kicks out of shield for, you know, quick damage. Uh, so definitely, you know, making the necessary adjustments to maybe be a little bit more aggressive when it comes to, you know, getting damage early. Yeah, and I think one of the key things that we noticed was that uh, John kept, uh, he kept doing the getup attack to um, beat out the down smash at the ledge. And that kind of saved him in the last game. And then the first time they were at the ledge in this game, Webb knew he was going for getup attack, so he immediately shield and got the punish. So now the, you know, the meta of their, of them playing is evolving a little bit. And I think... That might be what really determines the game. Yeah, and a fortunate there for WebJP missing the boost kick. That definitely would have spelled uh, curtains for John Number. But, you know, John, John Number. Yeah, this is one number, a single number. God, you got to wonder how many, like, corny commentator jokes are just, we've all exhausted with numbers. Like, looks like he's got his number. You know, like, stuff like that. Like, don't say that, <laughs> please. Like, yeah, like, Slippy is cringing. That's Slippy in cringe. <laughs> oh man, the soundboard's great. Yeah, I love Slippy. What? That okay? That's not Slippy. That's Toad from Mario Kart 64. What? Glenn's not really a gamer. Find a Slippy clip and play it at back to back. I bet you it's the same clip. <laughs> I bet you it's the same clip. All right. See, uh, WebJP up 
pretty big right now. John Numbers finally getting Weefa Trainer into the triple digits on that first stock. So let's see what the response is going to be with uh, with deep breathing on deck. You definitely want to make this comeback uh, soon. This is this is one of those. Um, this is really interesting because this is like the most I've seen John like fighting on stage with someone because he kind of has to like. He kind of has to just play the game in a normal way because he's down by so much and he can't just ledge trap. And the ZSS is really good at the ledge. So it's it's interesting because a lot of people, they'll get like a stock lead on like someone like Sinji or someone like Numbers, and then they'll just camp them out, right? But uh -huh. you can't really do that in this game. That's like such an old mentality. Like letting them set up is actually worse. And what Webb is doing is a perfect example of like, no, I have the lead and I'm just going to keep having the lead while I fight you. Like I'm not going to try to run away and force you to approach me. Yeah, the, I, the ye old phrase is uh, camping in their face. You know? Exactly, you yeah. You definitely want to keep it, uh, you know, close. But like you said, not many people can play, like, a long game like that. But Zero Sam is definitely one of the best in the business being able to do so. As the boost kick Man. out of shield will open up a big lead here for WebJP. But, you know, do not sleep on uh, Weak Fit Trainer here, Glenn. Uh, I'm asleep, my friend. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that at this point, I think, I think uh, you know, maybe I was wrong the last game. But Web looks... Webb's just getting so much more comfortable and like he's not you know making the mistakes that he made the last few games like really the times that he lost stocks were just like oh I, I you know I flubbed this input and then you were able to punish me from like half the screen away because you have a, a giant projectile like sun salutation so I don't know I mean he just ate another sun and he's big chilling. Yeah definitely uh, you know looking solid right here over again into the second century mark as uh, looking the sun directly in the face right there so the John Numbers on the board here, but is it too little too late? I mean, again, the other thing here, I think, is that Webb maybe got too comfortable the last game, and then he started just, like, you know, he didn't he didn't keep playing the same way because he was like, ah, oh, yeah, I got this, and then John brings it back. John is one of those guys where if you give him an inch, man, he's taking the entire mile. So yeah, let's see if... Webb just needs to go back to the ledge and play that great ledge trapping game that he that has got him this far, like... Really, yeah. it's it's his amazing ledge trapping that really just counterplayed everything Numbers had. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the, the ledge play has been huge here, but also, you know, force Weefa Trainer to engage with you a little bit more up close because, you know, once Weefa Trainer is kind of forced to box, yeah, as good as deep breathing is, you know, she saw some pretty tight hitbox and some, uh, some pretty awkward end lag on a few of her moves, so. Yeah, th these up airs, I mean, oh boy. This is, this is going to be tough. I mean, John's... He, John's gonna have to get that deep breathing, and now he's gonna get off ledge, and he's gonna really have to try to take this stock now. Can, I Can he do here? it? Yep, again, John making a competition out of it, only still sub 60 on this, uh, on the second stock here. WebJP, you know, you, you definitely can maybe feel the, the walls closing in a bit, but it's still a uh, pretty favorable position for him right now with the stocks. Wow, great awareness there, calling out the jump with the forward air. I mean, ZSS has, you know, one of the best rising aerials in the game. That move is great. I want to see Webb go really deep off stage here. Oh, oh, uh -oh. And that, there you go. This should be it. Ooh, and it that's an up smash. Great job from WebJP. Yeah, no, the excellent stuff right there from WebJP. You know, uh, you can kind of you know, sense the uh, the mom the momentum of the set start to slip a little bit here. To take a look at this final exchange. That was the one time like he really tried to challenge that up B, and I wonder if he planned that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very awkward because like he got hit by the up B too, but still was not in enough hit right. stun. Where I, I guess John maybe thought it's like, okay, I hit him. Maybe I have a little bit more extra time to you yeah. know, recover a little bit more aggressively here to the ledge to get myself in a position to ledge trap again. Right. But um, now Zero Sam Samus is like, no, nah, I'm good. No, I got that covered too. Again, we got this flip kick. You ever kick. hit by a hulu before? It doesn't yeah. hurt. <laughs>